Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we have round three. No, no we don't. Yes we do. No, we don't. Today we have round four of the third season of our 2010 career mode. And it's going pretty well. We've had two podiums out of the first three races. It started really bad in Bahrain. It's quickly got better. Second round, we got a podium. Third round, we won in Malaysia. It was so dominant, so easy. And I'm kind of hoping the rest of the season is like that as well. So we can swiftly move on to F1 2011 with a 2010 championship in my back pocket. The trousers I'm wearing right now do not have any back pockets, but metaphorically speaking, or figuratively speaking, I want you right now to give the video a like thank you very much let's see if we can get 110 that's a big number 110 likes yeah let's go let's race we are definitely in this title fight at least based on the first three performances of the season qualifying has been brilliant the last two races have been absolutely fantastic and we sit in third place but sebastian vettel and his new team Renault leading the way by 12 points ahead of reigning double world champion mark weber i'm in third place my teammate though fernando alonso down in 23rd place he's i don't think he's even he's finished two of the races but he's not scored any of the points so far it means in the Constructors' Championship, it's Renault, Red Bull, Force India, and then Ferrari and McLaren tied on fourth place. Let's jump into this weekend. Welcome to qualifying at uh, China. Many people don't like this circuit. I don't mind it. I'd give it a 6 out of 10 on the old James Early circuit rating scale. Uh, but Q1, let's see if we can just march on through to Q2 nice and easy. Rounding that final corner down towards the line. It's been a solid first lap, but I don't think it's going to be quick enough really, is it? Two seconds down. In fact, it's faster than Hamilton, but two seconds behind Weber. So maybe we need just one more lap. Massa, come on. Never again have sex or never again sim race. Guys, where would I be without my Logitech G29? We're throwing 11th place through to Q2, but it's Mark Weber who leads the way after the first session. He's really quick as well. Buemi, Button, Hulkenberg, Chandok, Petrov, Degrassi, and Senna knocked out. The Williams not looking too quick here, but both Cora and Kamui march on to Q2. Welcome to Q2 in China. Uh, we may be lacking a bit of pace in Q1, so we need to go faster here if we want to make it through to the top 10 shootout. Not like a nice lap. I don't know if it's enough to get through. We might need to go for a second lap here. But down towards the line, it's a 38-7. Eighth place right now. Maybe we need the second lap. Rounding the final corner for the final time in this session. I think it might be an improvement. We did get held up by Kibitza, so it's slower. But we're still fast enough to go through. Weber once again the fastest. Massa in the Force India looking good. Subtle his teammate in 7th place. My teammate Fernando Alonso just scraping through. A 10th behind me in 10th place. The driver's knocked out. Heike Kovalainen, and Timo Glock. Kamui Kobayashi. Cora Kobayashi. Barrichello Trolley and Della Rosa. Uh, no, I'll never be the biggest James in sim racing. Because firstly, yeah, James Baldwin or whatever. But isn't Jimmy Broadbent's name James? Welcome to Q3. The final session in this qualifying hour and it all comes down to this 10 drivers vying for a pole position slot at the chinese grand prix can we be the car to achieve that feat let's find out that first lap was compromised i'm gonna go for a second run a second bite at the cherry the ninth place I'm behind my teammate alonso right now i don't know if that was a better lap i have no idea if that was an improved lap down towards the line it's not it's not it's not better We've been out-qualified by Alonso. We're starting ninth place here. And Robert Kibitza and Lewis Hamilton, the McLaren pair, lock out the front row of the grid. Algaswari gets one over on his Red Bull teammate Weber. He out-qualifies him for the first time this season. Then it's the Force India of Adrian Sutil. Massa, his teammate, down in seventh. Rosberg sandwiched in between in fifth place. Alonso and early, the two Ferraris, eighth and ninth, with Sebastian Vettel, the championship leader, rounding out the top ten. Here we are. 56 laps of the Shanghai International Circuit. The Chinese Grand Prix is about to get underway. There's 32% chance of rain, so we could well see a shower, maybe a switch over to the intermediates or the wet tyres at some point in these 56 laps. Starting on those option tyres, though, and if it does stay dry we pit on lap 19 for the prime starting down in ninth place this could be a tough race but if we could aim for a top five i think that would be happy we'd be happy days here at the ferrari camp let's go racing the grid is set robert kubitza on pole position ignore the helmet fernando alonso in eighth place with his teammate early starting in ninth is hell <laughs> why is my head leaning to the side <laughs> am i asleep 
Kimmy, wake up. The race is on. Anyway, the lights are on in the distance. We have five red lights and the Chinese Grand Prix is underway. And we got off the line pretty well, but I know I'm already going to lose positions. There's a car on my left-hand side. It's Sebastian Vettel in the Renault. He's going to try and go around the outside of turn one. I'm on the inside, maybe, of my teammate Alonso. Could potentially gain a position there. Is there a space on the inside of Mark Webber? There is. And Felipe Massa, the Force India driver, is going around Webber. And I'm actually up to sixth place. For once, I've gained... Oh, seventh place. Nice one, Massa. For once, I've actually gained positions off the start. Happy days. Oh, there we go. Up into the hairpin we go. Up the inside of one Force India. Could we get two? Not quite, but we've got past Massa. That's sixth place now. There's a car going around my outside. Massa fighting back. We've been uh, trading in, in qualifying, me and Massa. He kept just coming out onto the track in front of me on my qualifying laps over and over again. Into the hairpin for the first time. Well, we stayed close to these guys for the first lap, which is a nice... Refreshing sight to see. And Robert Kavitsa leads the way after lap one. Well, Massa with a half send into the hairpin. Had to leave the Force India driver a bit of space on the inside. He can't find his way through. Oh, Massa's gone around my outside. What a move that is. I can't stop that from happening either. The Brazilian up to sixth. Oh, Hamilton into the lead of the race. He's overtaking his teammate. Don't want to jinx anything, but initial impressions is the... AI rubber banding isn't too bad. Oh, Mark Webber and Fernando Alonso battling away behind. And now Webber putting the pressure on. But the championship is important. I finish ahead of him. Apparently Ferrari are getting ready for Massa in the pits. Does somebody want to tell Rob that Massa doesn't drive for the team anymore? Had to slightly defend the inside line from Webber there. He's definitely putting the pressure on. It's only just... It's not really a train. So we're not falling behind the pack in front too much. Oh, I've not even given you the space, Weber. But Weber has forced his way through, just like Massa did. That's a great move. Great move from the Australian. I ran him out as wide as I possibly could. Okay, brilliant. Alonso's just hit me. He's still on the inside. When will they learn not to make stupid moves like that? Just leave me alone. And now we do have an early train forming. There's a Toro Rosso in there, and I think both of the Braun Mercedes, or at least one of them. Oh, I think Alonso spun. I don't know what I did, but I, th I think he just spun. That's Adrian Suttle into the pits. Up to seventh place we go. 11.2 to race leader Hamilton. We've not spread out like we usually do in the opening stages of a Grand Prix on this game. There's more action in the pit lane. Who's that? Felipe Massa in this lap, so we'll be up to 6th place. There's a car going around my outside there. Ain't gonna happen, it's Cora Kobayashi. Cora Kobayashi, the, uh, the rookie driver. As all four of my tyres are now worn. I've just been hit. I've been hit by Vettel! Vettel's hit me! Oh, he's all over the, he's all over the shop, he's into the wall. And he's into the pits as well. He might not lose much. Because he was gonna pit anyway, wasn't he? Somebody else is into the pits, so we're into the top 5. I love when they lose their front wing. They just forget how to drive. Oh, and I've just been done around the outside by my own teammate. The teammate, the same teammate who has front wing damage and less downforce has just done me around the outside. Made with China. I do like how they broke away from the stereotype of made in China and just added with instead. Like it's like it's a joint effort. Made with China. Well, we made all this stuff, but... We shipped it to your country, so, you know, you're doing all the work as well. We think Aguaswari's into the pits. We think Aguaswari might be out the race. We're up to fifth place. Oh, okay. Very interesting. Physics at play there. Right, we are boxing at the end of this lap. Lap 19, pits at the end of this lap. Oh, that's a big lockup. That's a big fat lockup. And I'm going to lose a position before going into the pits. Kibitz is not boxing. I don't want to crash into him, though. Right, we're into the pits. Let's not do a Hamilton. And I got a warning for illegal... What? Illegal blocking? Who did I block? Anyway, into the pits we go then for a one and only stop in this race. Such a wide pit lane. I can barely see our mechanics. But we stop on our marks. Break first gear. Then Ferrari logo with Brembo brakes. And now we are 6.5 slow. I think we lost the position there, didn't we? 
We've lost the position through the pit stop. We did. We lost out to Heiki Kovalainen. And we're going to rejoin in 12th place. outside 13th place. Outside the points. Up to 12th place. There's a driver in the pits there. What? In the world? We're on fresh tyres. Why is the car just letting up like that? Weber might be glitched. He might just not pit. And then slow down at the end of the race. Oh, there's cars rejoining. There's Buemi there. And we're up to ninth place. Back up into the points. Okay. Getting somewhere. Weber leads the way, though. Weber is just refusing to pit. And we have drivers in the pits. It's Jensen Button. The Williams driver was up to eighth place. He qualified way down the order in, I think, 18th or 19th. So we're up to eighth now. Everybody actually and Vettel, the two drivers behind me. Uh, no, I'll never be the biggest James in sim racing. Because firstly, yeah, James Baldwin or whatever. But isn't Jimmy Broadbent's name James? Jimmy underscore Broadbent has followed. Thanks, Jimmy underscore Broadbent. Oh, that is real. Oh, nice. Cool. Right, there's a driver in the pits there. So we are up to seventh place. 23 laps to go, including the one we're on. It's looking... It's looking good. It's looking good. I'm still targeting a top five in this one. But whilst Mark Webber is out in the lead, as who's going around my outside? Cora Kobayashi around the outside. Force him out wide onto the curb. With the Toro Rosso driver looking for the move up the inside into the hairpin. But we hold on to the position for now. I don't have the pace on the prime tyres. I've been sent there. I have been half sent by Kobayashi. He's still trying it. Oh, there's a yellow. I think somebody's lost it. Oh, I think Vettel and Kobayashi came together. Vettel missing a front wing again. 43.8 to Weber. The gap did come down on that lap. 23.4 to Weber. Has he been into the pits or has he ran into issues? 22 seconds to Mark Weber. The gap continues to fall. My teammate right now, Alonso, is in fifth place. 16.4 to Mark Weber. Less than 10 laps to go. I'm not interested in the base game. I'll be interested. Oh, there's a car off there. There's a car off in a big way. And that's Lewis Hamilton. Lewis Hamilton has crashed out of the Chinese Grand Prix. The driver Fantastic. who was leading the championship after the first round in Bahrain, who crashed out then in Australia, has now crashed out again the fourth round of the season here in China. And we're up to sixth place. And it started to rain. Lap 49 out of 56, and the rain is starting to fall. Right, we've got traffic. Kamui Kobayashi holding up Heiki Kovalainen. This is my chance to overtake. We move past, and there's Degrassi holding up Alonso. Could it be a double move? We're going three wide into turn one. Can I somehow... Oh, the contact there. Degrassi, what are you doing, mate? We're through on Alonso. He's still on the inside, though. And it's side by side, the two Ferraris. Nothing between them there. Alonso, he's been outclassed by his new teammate this year so far. And he's in danger of finishing behind him again if Early can find his way through, which he can't. They're pitting. They're boxing. They are boxing. And I've stayed out. I instantly regret my decision. Two laps to go. Do we just stay out? Do we stay out and hopefully hold them up? What do we do? We're in the lead of the race. We've got two laps to go. We have to try and stay out, surely, guys. We know there's a big drop-off as soon as it switches over to the other tyre conditions. There's a massive drop-off. Oh, dear. One lap to go. Can we hold on in these treacherous conditions to claim our back-to-back -back victories? 9.6 to Weber. Oh, the car just doesn't want to turn. This does feel like, like yeah, Lando Norris. Sarchi. Oh my god, they're almost on the back of me. Have that inside line. No, we're aquaplaning. Second place. Oh, it actually is Lando Norris. Oh, guys, it's so bad. <laughs> what? Third place. No, 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 no. Fourth place. Oh my gosh. Fifth place. How has it instantly got this bad? Let's hold on to fifth, please. Okay, we didn't lose anything in the end. We were fifth anyway, but... And what was that? What was that? Why does it keep bugging? Robert Kubica has won for McLaren by a lap ahead of Weber. Rosberg third, Alonso fourth, early in fifth. Alonso getting his first points of the season. Aki Kovalainen up in sixth for Braun Mercedes. Then it's the two Renaults, Glock and championship leader, or at least was the championship leader, Sebastian Vettel. Buemi and Button complete the scoring. Weber takes the championship lead by two points ahead of Vettel. James Early on 50 points, only 14 points off the championship lead. So we're still right in there. I think if we won that race, we would have been championship leader. Yes, we would have been. 
Uh, unfortunately, that did not happen. Although, due to the bug, I think we would have finished best second anyway. Red Bull four points ahead of Renault in the constructors. McLaren and Ferrari hot on their heels. It seems to be a four-way, maybe even a five-way battle for the constructors' crown this season. Well, there we have it. The end of another episode. And we're counting down the days until we move on to F1 2011. Still looking for that championship on this game. And we're well in the fight. It could have been victory late on here at China. But... Similar to what Lando Norris tried to do in Russia 2021, that didn't pay off for him. It didn't pay off for me either. I opted to stay on those soft tyres towards the end of the Grand Prix whilst other drivers pitting for the wet compound or at least the intermediate compound. And on that final lap, it all fell apart from first place all the way down to fifth, but still 10 points in the bag and still closing on the championship lead, I think, technically, with that result. So overall, it's still a good positive weekend. If you enjoyed that one, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. If you're not already subscribed, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.